Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video. The series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week 18 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2022 collection. Yes guys, it's that time of the week again. Time to cover the latest week in Supreme's Spring Summer 2022 collection. And this week we are getting the 18th drop of that season. Now, what is dropping in the 18th week? Well, we already know. We are getting a collaboration with Nike. They are doing some Shock Ride 2s as well as some matching caps as well. But of course, that's not everything releasing in the week. There is also seasonal pieces from Supreme's, well, quite obviously, spring summer 2022 season <laughs> that we have yet to cover. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be covering the release details for week 18, the seasonal pieces, again, the collaborative pieces, because they are releasing this week. And of course, I'll sprinkle my thoughts and opinions on the pieces and the week as a whole. Now, how we're going to cover all those details is like always by using a Supreme Community drop list page. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for week 18. So here is the drop list page that we'll be using today, guys. If you want to vote on the items yourselves, they'll be linked down in that description section below. We'll quickly cover the release details and then we'll dive into all the pieces releasing this week. So the items releasing in week 18 will be dropping on the 23rd of June, 2022. They will also be dropping two days later on the Saturday, the 25th. And they will have an online release 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US on their online store, 4 p.m. British Standard Time for the UK, then 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time for the EU. Now, Japan will be getting it, as I mentioned, two days later, and they will be getting it 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in store and online. Now, if you guys have any further questions, queries, anything at all about the release details, drop them in that comment section below and I'll help you out the best I can. Now that we've covered all the drop details though, we got to get into the pieces. So like every other week, we will cover this week by diving into the individual sections along the left hand side here. Let's kick off week 18 by checking out the sweatshirts. Mm, and there's something funky about that, uh, that second sweatshirt there. <laughs> uh, as we can see, they've stuffed up and they have not included a shoes section this week. So uh, yeah, there is no section to chuck the shoes in. Um, well, well, I think I'll just dive into this sweatshirt and maybe we'll get into these last. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. But anyway, yes, the Demon Zip Up Hooded Sweatshirt. So coming in three colors for 178 US dollars. We've got a demon graphic on the front, arm and hood. You can get it in an orange, a white, and a black. I don't mind the white. Let's see what kind of... Ooh, actually the black kind of nice as well. It's a shame it's a zip-up hoodie. As I say, there are very few hoodies that are zip-up hoodies that look better as zip-up hoodies when they could have been pullovers, if you get my what I mean. Uh, look, this is dead on 298, 298 um, split down the middle. So people are 50-50 on this. I think once you look into the details and you see like all the details on it, I kind of like this. I think this is kind of nice. I would have liked to see what the white one looks like uh, in more detail because I feel like the purple could look nice in the white. 178 is a bit steep with all the details on it. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll uh, tip the balance in a thumbs up there. <laughs> yeah, look. I, I think it's a nice piece. 178 is a bit steep for a retail, but with all those details on it, I'm sure you can justify it if you're a big fan of it there. But yeah, that is the only hooded sweatshirt releasing this week for week 18, guys. Now moving into the bags, guys, we have two of them. We have the Supreme Banson Leathers Cordura Mesh Wrist Bag. Yeah, I don't know about this, man. It looks a little bit funky. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a down vote on that one. 128 bucks for a little wrist bag. I don't know about that. We've got the Supreme Vanson Leathers Cordura Mesh Duffel Bag. Now I have a Spring Summer 2018 Cordura Supreme Duffel Bag right here. 
amazing bag if I'm ever traveling, if I'm ever going camping or something, and you know, just for like a couple nights I need to chuck some clothes in something, this is a perfect bag. Now, I don't know what size this one's coming in, but this one is the large version. So this might be a smaller version than that one, but I'm a huge fan of their Cordura Supreme bags. This one is a collaboration with Vance and Leathers. This one features all these graphics all over it. I kind of like the old graphic look. It makes it look like I'm sponsored by like a Formula One racing team. Um, I get around it. The thing I don't get around is that retail price. Jesus. 550 well i mean it's 548 but come on it's five it's over 550 with tax and stuff so yeah jesus 548 us dollars damn that's like a really nice undercover jacket <laughs> that's how i gauge things now that's a really nice undercover jacket at that price <laughs> yeah oh this um look if you want to sell me the black one used for like a quarter of that price i'll get on board but i'll give it a thumbs up because i kind of like its design but the retail price is just bonkers man um anyway they're the only bags releasing this week so let's get into the tops slash sweaters which we have two of we have the uh perforated stripe warm up top i actually don't mind this i i actually don't mind this it's kind of fun um, I would actually wear that for like sports uses instead of streetwear outfits. But I suppose you could actually get it like big enough, like oversize, get like the biggest size possible and chuck it over the top of like a hoodie or something. And that's kind of cool. You're adding an extra layer to your hoodie that is textured. You know, you got those uh, perforated holes in them. I, I think this is an underrated piece. As long as there's no disgusting graphics on the back of it, which knowing Supreme, it probably does. <laughs> if it's just simply just the top, that's a thumbs up from me. If there is something on the back, well, it's, maybe it's a miss, but just back going off the details I can see in this one photo here, I could actually get around this in like the white or the bl uh, black and chuck it over like a hoodie or something like I was saying. And it's only 78 bucks. I actually think that's a nice piece. Next, we've got the Supreme Advance and Leather sweater. Uh, this would be like a knit. I think the red, blue, and white one here is bonkers with those details. It would, it's the least wearable, but I love the color choice on it. It's crazy. The black one, toned down a little bit more. Um, the flames don't stick out as much on the black one, but I still like the black one for its color. And then we have the purple one with the green flames. I am feeling the purple one. I like the purple one. It's, you know, the green flames along the arm. It's kind of goofy, kind of fun. It is 200 US dollars. It's a little bit pricey. But yeah, I mean, I could get around any three of the colors with my preference going purple, black, multicolor at the bottom there. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it, guys. I'm going to give that one a thumbs up as well. Ah, I'm kind of bummed out about this, man. Like, we've got the Supreme Vance and Leathers Cordura Mesh Jacket. I wish it was leather. And at that price tag, it should be leather. <laughs> you know? Ah, oh, man, you know, like, I've re I've actually really been getting around, like, leather, um, uh, um, uh, leather racing jackets, you know, like, the casual ones that you'd see on, like, a, a race car driver, or even, like, a, a motorcycle driver, um, or rider, I should say, but, yeah, they just look sick, and there's, like, a couple of them with, like, some simple color-blocking leather that I've seen, some, like, vintage ones, and they look really nice. This mesh one with all the logos chucked all over it, it's a little bit too excessive for me. And that retail price is, oof, Jesus, 900 US dollars. Um, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down, but I do like the silhouette, like the crop look, um, no ribbing, just like a, and no collar, just like this like simple racer jacket. They look sick, it looks sick. Uh, well, and the vintage ones more so, but yeah. If that was like a third, uh, sorry, a fourth of the price, maybe. We've got the hooded twill varsity jacket. Let's dive into this one a little bit further. That comes in three colors, black on black, white and gray, orange and gray by the looks of it. Uh, it features a varsity jacket silhouette with a Supreme hood sticking out of it. And then this arcing Supreme font on it. I actually think this is really nice. Um, normally I rant on about a uh, varsity jacket with the hood. They should have done it as two separate pieces. But 
the logos on the back are solid the color choices of the silhouettes are solid as well i'm trying to find something to complain about it but nah i mean it's a solid piece okay i found something to complain about <laughs> the green font maybe it should have been changed to gray a white and gray one would have been mm, very nice i actually surprisingly really like the orange one the orange one with the red font and the uh like gray or white hood it's probably a white hood i am actually getting around that yeah i think this is quite nice um it gives off the look of having a hoodie under a varsity jacket you can chuck it on in summer because it doesn't actually have a hood under it yeah no i'm getting around it and i like a little supreme hit on the side of the uh hood as well yeah thumbs up for me 228 two, yeah nice i like this this is a solid piece uh that is all the jackets though that are going to be releasing in week 18. accessories we've got quite a few releasing this week kick it off with we've got the levy glasses i kind of like them in the black don't really like turtle shell the green's okay but my preference would go to the black i'm gonna give it a thumbs up in the black there moving on we have the club sunglasses black diamond no, I think this looks a little bit too cheesy for me, man. I'm going to give it a thumbs down on that one. Next, we got the Koto sunglasses. I like these in the black. Very nice. The red and blue is also really nice. Like, imagine wearing, like, white or a white leather jacket with, like, a little red hit somewhere. Like, maybe, like, a white leather jacket with a little bit of red on it. Um, just some white pants, those glasses. I can see it all coming together. I may not be able to visualize it for you guys, but I can see it all coming together. I'm a fan of these. I think these are nice. The Velo sunglasses, I'm actually not a huge fan of. I kind of like sunglasses with frames all the way around them. These like frameless, I suppose, sunglasses. Yeah, I can't do them. They look too sporty. That Yeah, I, so many different things, I just can't. So we've got the club sunglasses making a reappearance as well. This time without the diamonds, without the black diamond colorway, sorry. So these three here are going to be 200 USD, while the black diamond colorway is going to be 350. Uh, the black ones are all right. I like the black ones. Having all those diamonds on them though, mm, mm. But yeah, black ones, that's a thumbs up from me. We've got the clip keychain. 28 bucks for a keychain. I mean, what's this made out of sterling silver or something why is stainless steel 28 bucks um i mean it's a nice little piece i'll give it a thumbs up for that but 28 bucks jeez supreme taxing now we've got the supreme pogi ugo large planter i don't look out for pot plants i don't have any pot plants i'm sure as hell not buying a supreme one <laughs> for 110 bucks Bruh, no, I can't miss me with that. I'm gonna go out and buy just some normal, uh, like, pop lands. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, look, it's, it's an okay item. I'll give it, a, I'll give them both a thumbs up item for the different sizes, but there is no way in hell I'm spending that much money on just a Supreme branded pop plan. No. We've got the Supreme, uh, Sprayer 2 Water Blaster. 230 bucks for a water pistol nah man or what even if you want water rifle water blaster whatever the hell you want to call it it shoots water and it's 230 bucks nah man i i ain't paying that kind of money for that but uh yeah that is all the accessories releasing this week guys we have three more sections let's check out the pants okay so we saw this graphic earlier on in the season we have the credit card graphic making an appearance uh it's on some regular jeans these look nasty. Um, yeah, you can miss me with those. I am gonna give those a big old thumbs down. We've got pleated trousers, some nice, well, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, quite wide looking, especially around the thigh and knee area there. Um, pleated trousers coming in some nice colors, black, brown, or, an, or a blue. I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I don't know why this is hated. Let me look at the, look at the details. Why is this hated? Why does everyone hate this piece? I literally can't think of it, like what? What's the reason? I like them. I, I, I'm gonna stick to my guns. Still a thumbs up from me. Okay, so now we're on to the hats. We've got three. Yes, we've got the Supreme Nike Shocks running hat. Look, if you buy these with the shoes and create a nice ensemble with that, I think it can work quite well. By itself, I think it looks a little bit goofy with this like really big padded top panel and just the material choice and everything like that. It's just not something I can see myself wearing. So. 
it's really if you're getting it with the shoes it's a thumbs up if you're getting it by itself i think it's a thumbs down um i'll just give it a thumbs up because i'm going to assume you're going to be buying it with the shoes there with the matching color but anyway we've got the military camp cap nice little camp cap coming in a couple different colors there some solid ones can't go wrong you can't go wrong got to give it a thumbs up we've got the military booty some solid colors that's coming in as well i not complain about that either but uh yeah that is all the hats releasing this week guys so let's dive into the shorts Ooh, and that first pair of shorts is nasty both in retail price and design <laughs> we've got the supreme vance and leathers cordura mesh shorts 468 us dollars what are you smoking supreme damn that's ridiculous Oi, oi, oi. Uh, yeah, look, a lot of people are thumbs up. Uh, look, man, I saw that retail price and I'm a thumbs down. Uh, no way. No way. Imagine having the whole fit. Yo, having like the sweater underneath the jacket with the shorts uh, and the bag. <laughs> You're going to spend two racks on just Supreme Vents and leather stuff this week if you get it all. Man. I'd hate to be a person that collects that stuff. That would be so expensive. Oh my lord. Yeah, no thanks. We've got the nylon shorts coming up next. Just a nice little pair of shorts. Uh, branded logo on the left leg there. You can't go wrong. Nice for swimming or sports. Thumbs up from me. Nice little pair of shorts. Okay, now let's address the last pair of shorts. Sorry, I mean shoes, but apparently we didn't have a section for that. <laughs> We've got the Nike Shock Ride 2s. Uh, yeah, I went into, went into it very extensively in a uh, sneaker talk video, guys. So if you want to see me dive into that fully, it's it, go watch that video. Um, yeah, look, I think for specific aesthetics and in specific colors, it's good. But for most people, with most people's aesthetics, even with my aesthetic, it would not fit into that scheme. So I, I, I just, I personally could never get it. Even if they made it in my size at a US uh, 16 slash 17, I couldn't get it. It just wouldn't work with what I've got in my wardrobe. So um, I'm going to give it a thumbs up because I think it could work really, really well with the people that have that wardrobe. I just don't have that wardrobe and it's just not for me. But um, yeah. There we go, guys. That is week 18. Look, honestly, it's not a fantastic week. It's not anything too crazy. There's not any pieces that I'm like, oh my God, I absolutely need them. But there are some nice pieces that I'm like, you know what, if I see this prop up, yeah, I'd pick it up. Like, you know, like I like the hooded uh, twill varsity jacket. That's a nice little piece. Uh, I didn't like uh, the accessories, but the hats, the uh, nylon shorts are nice. I like the Vance and Leather sweater. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, the Demon zip-up hooded sweatshirt was fun. Uh, yeah, the perforated stripe warm-up top. I feel like you could work it. Like, there is some outfits we could come up with for this little piece here. But, um, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, that is week 18. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Let me know how you feel about this week down in that comment section below. Well, that's it, guys. That is everything to be covered about week 18. It's releasing on the 23rd or 25th if you live in Japan. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US. 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time for Japan. 4 p.m. British Standard Time for the UK. Central European Standard Time, 5 p.m. for the EU. Uh, we covered all the pieces, but seasonal and collaborative, and we covered my thoughts and opinions. That's week 18 wrapped up, guys. I want to hear from you guys in that comment section below. What are you picking up? What are you feeling? What are you not feeling? Let me know what you're picking up in what size, color, all those details down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme Weeks, releases and collaborations, you've got to give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And of course, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Now, we're also trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 3,380 subs. We are less than three subs away, guys. So if you tell two mates, and they tell two mates, I'm sure that we can hit 3380 before the end of June. 
That's all I've got to say about week 18 though, guys. Uh, I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something this week. I hope you managed to pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Supreme video, until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.